Disney's 1940 film Fantasia is perhaps one of the company's strangest, yet most iconic films. It spawned a sequel in 2000, with both films creating animated sequences to different pieces of classical music. The most iconic segment is The Sorcerer's Apprentice, starring Mickey Mouse in the apprentice role. Yet the film did not do well financially at the box office. Despite this, Fantasia is well represented at Walt Disney World in its parks and resorts. So when the Walt Disney World is Fantasia. Let's begin in Magic Kingdom. In 2003, a new 3D show opened in Fantasyland called Mickey's Villa Magic. The show sees Donald Duck use the sorcerer's hat before travelling through several films in an attempt to get the hat back after he loses it. One of the scenes featured in the show is a segment where Donald Duck comes face to face with a brooms from the Sorcerer's Apprentice, which proceed to soak Donald. Probably one of the most iconic references to Fantasia at Hollywood Studios is no longer there. In 2001, to mark the 100 years of magic, commemorating Walt Disney's 100th birthday, Hollywood Studios received a new park icon to replace the Earful Tower. The Sorcerer's Hat was built in front of a Chinese theatre, becoming the park's icon in the centre of the park. Initial plans for the hat was for it to be much larger and located outside of the park. On either side of the hat would have been two ferris wheels acting as Mickey's ears, whilst the hat was host to Walt Disney's One Man's Dream. Instead, as the retail division of the Disney Parks funded the construction of the hat, the Sorcerer's Hat was located inside the park as a pin store. Initially, the Sorcerer's Hat also hosted interactive kiosks about Walt Disney's life, which were removed in 2003 at the end of 100 Years of Magic. The hat was also supposed to have been removed in 2003 at the end of a celebration, but it ended up remaining as a park icon and a pin store. In 2014, Hollywood Studios was in the middle of a new transformation from a park shown behind the movies to a park where you can step into the movies. As a result, the Sorcerer's Hat was announced to be closing in 2014 and was removed in 2015, with the Chinese theatre and Tower of Terror becoming the park's new icons. Fantasia can still be found in Disney's Hollywood Studios. In 2016, Mickey and Minnie on Red Carpet Dreams opened on Commissary Lane in the park as a meet and greet for Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Inside, Mickey Mouse is dressed in his Sorcerer's Apprentice outfit, as he prepares to film a fictional sequel to the film called The Book of Dreams. Meanwhile, on Sunset Boulevard, Fantasmic opened in 1998, and follows a dream Mickey Mouse is having one night, but becomes a nightmare when the Disney villains turn up. Throughout the dream, Mickey appears in different outfits, one of which is his Sorcerer's Apprentice outfit from Fantasia. Whilst the Sorcerer's Hat is no longer at Hollywood Studios, Fantasia is still able to be seen there. Fantasia also plays a large role in several areas of the Walt Disney Resort. In 1999, Disney's All-Star Movies opened, with a section of a resort themed to both Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. The pool is themed to the Sorcerer's Apprentice, whilst one of the buildings is themed to the Steadfast Tin Soldier, particularly its terrifying Jack in the Box. The other building is themed to the Sorcerer's Apprentice, with a giant sorcerer's hat. Another hotel to feature a Fantasia-themed pool is Disney's Riviera Resort, which opened in 2019. The Sivu Play Water Play Area is themed to the Dance of the Hour segment of the film, including the Dancing Hippos, ostriches and elephants. The most significant area to feature Fantasia at Walt Disney World is the Fantasia Garden Miniature Golf. The mini golf course features several obstacles themed to various segments of Fantasia, including Toccata and Fugi, the Nutcracker Suite, Pastoral Symphony, Dance of the Hours and the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Although Disney's Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 are perhaps not the most popular Disney films, the iconic scene of The Sorcerer's Apprentice has caused that segment of the film to be represented throughout Walt Disney World. 
Although the sorcerer's hat is no longer at Hollywood Studios, a smaller version of a hat can still be seen in Fantasmic and in Mickey's Philar Magic. Surprisingly, films are greatly represented at the All-Star Movies Resort and has a whole mini golf course theme to it, showcasing some of the more obscure elements from Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on the History Channel.